has a capacity of 150 megabytes. It dates back from 1979. And today we are using cartridges with 15 terabyte capacity. And actually, cartridges like these, containing real Alexi data, you can buy nowadays at the CERN store. I'm working on the ATLAS experiment, one of the four major experiments at the LHC. We are every year recording enormous amounts of data, and actually in about eight years we are planning to upgrade our detector, and the data volumes will even increase. Uh, for us the data is everything. We built this detector, we are operating it, and we are going on and we will analyze this data for the next 20 years. So it's really important that in case of problems we are able to always go back maybe 10 years and investigate the raw data which is on tape. The tape archive at CERN is actually very active. This is different what maybe some other institutions do who just park the data on tape. At CERN, we not only store large quantities of data during the data taking period, but we also go back and reanalyze the data even five years old. The main needs that we need to meet are definitely based on capacity. However, we need to design the archive also to meet requirements in terms of performance, such as the throughput and latency, such that access to data meets uh, the needs of experiments. The amount of data generated by the LHC experiments has been growing exponentially over the last years. And we expect this trend to continue over the next decade. So we're looking for storage solutions that are cost efficient, that are reliable, and that will support us for the years to come for handling the data we currently have there in the archive, the data we're receiving nowadays, and also the data to come in the future. Mm -hmm.